chances are you're watching this video on a personal computer or a mobile device, a testament to how far we have come in our pursuit of creating devices with greater processing power in ever smaller sizes. But have you considered whether our tools complement us? Or are we actually adjusting our natural behavior to accommodate our tools? Join us as we sit down with Cheng Dong Chao at the National University of Singapore to discuss heads-up computing moving beyond the device-centered paradigm. At the core of heads-up computing lies a fundamental insight that our existing technology only engages two out of five senses primarily the vision and a tiny bit of a touch. These devices often become the center of our attention, rather than being the tools that seamlessly complement our lives. In our pursuit of heads-up computing, we first need to develop devices that enable us to perceive and interact with information using more natural movements and postures. The heads-up hardware platform comprises two essential components specially designed to accommodate the crucial input and output hub of our body, our head and our hands. Looking ahead, we envision a future where an additional body piece in the form of a robot companion could further enhance human experiences and interactions. With such a platform, users can effortlessly engage with digital information in various scenarios. For instance, while on a trip, one can efficiently create the bulk of a travel blog in real time rather than spending additional hours on writing afterwards. This innovative approach opens up new possibilities for creating and processing information. One of the primary challenges for heads-up computing lies in the need for a convenient and complementary approach to process symbols. Traditional touch typing, while efficient, demands significant attention and manual effort. However, the latest AI technology, exemplified by large language models, can better understand spoken language, enabling more flexible, intention-based input. This, in turn, facilitates natural and seamless interaction with digital information during our daily activities. There are numerous challenges in making heads-up computing widespread. For someone willing to wear, let's say, a pair of glasses, it need to be light enough, it also need to be fashionable, and also the battery life should last more than a day. And finally, we need to first have a minimum viable market. With heads-up computing, we now have the opportunity to really redesign technology to facilitate a more natural, happy, healthier living. I think that's something that we have as a human race need to really fight for. Find out more in Heads Up Computing, Moving Beyond the Device-Centered Paradigm, a research article in the September 2023 Communications of the ACM.